Isabel, so good to have you here in the new 96.5 Artist Lounge. Um, man, there's so much to dive into. I mean, the last few months especially have been crazy for you. Favorites blowing up, TikToks going nuts. How's life been the last uh, few months here? I mean, it's been it's been amazing. Um, I mean, it's been we've been very busy, but it's it's literally all all the best things that we could ever ask for. So I'm just trying to keep going and, and roll with everything so this has kind of always been a part of your life right music and you know your dad used to take you to what the jazz clubs he <laughs> played <laughs> saxophone your brother thomas is here plays guitar yep. and so music has always been a part of your life mm -hmm. but from what i understand you you hated singing at first is that <laughs> right i just like it was a thing where um i like when when your parent is like oh you should do this and i i, I we're gonna sit down for you know an hour or two and you're gonna learn this jazz standard like, at, like i hate it at like <laughs> seven years old i'm not like oh great you know but i i i mean i've always loved singing it's just i didn't i didn't i wasn't really the biggest jazz fan when i was younger mm. but i've grown to appreciate it more as i've gotten older and i'm like i, I i'm so grateful for those experiences because they've helped me so much later in life yeah you know? and so what you started writing songs with thomas mm -hmm. in the bedroom do you remember like the first song you wrote and how old were you <laughs> uh i think that thomas well i wanted to be cool like thomas so when he started writing songs i was like oh maybe i can do this too <laughs> um i think he was like you were like 11 and i was seven and um i think the first song we wrote well the first song you wrote was called high tide i believe and then the first song we ever wrote together i think was called summer angels fly wow mm -hmm. it sounds deep for a seven-year-old honestly yeah, thomas God. wrote this song called like the passing of time which is literally bars that song is crazy i'm like Are you I microdosing at 11 years old yeah What's no going on? <laughs> <laughs> my God. No, Dang. seriously, I'm like, I want to pull up the lyrics of that song. It's crazy. I'm, I'm like, yeah, where, where is this, this. coming <laughs> from? <laughs> but no, he's just, <laughs> he's a lyricist. But That's very impressive. So this was, uh, this is how it all began, right? Mm -hmm. And so you guys still write together, kind of in the same settings, the same kind of routine? Definitely, yeah. definitely. We, we write everything together, and I genuinely would not, I would not be where I am without him. So, I mean, we've, we've always done everything together, and that has not changed. So y your rise to popularity kind of came through like quarantine, right? So you're mm. on you're on TikTok, you're posting away, and uh, nothing happens right away, right? Like you're no. posting like crazy every day, like four or five times. Right? I was really obnoxious. I honestly like going through and privating all those videos is actually my nightmare. But I'm so scared because they're so bad. But like I I don't want anyone to find them. But y if you do scroll far enough, you will see them. I'm I think I might need to do a deep dive and take them off my page. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I posted like 10 times a day and everyone was like, it was like crickets, you know. Mm. <laughs> but and so you're just going to keep going no matter what? Or were your times where you're just like, eh, I don't know about this anymore? I, well, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that everyone around me, so <laughs> I'm going to expose you. <laughs> Because well, our our friend Ari, who's also um, an artist, um, she was going viral on TikTok at the time for, I don't know, she was just making videos of herself and they were going viral. And then Thomas was like, okay, I'm going to try to do this too. And then he started going viral and I was the one who was, I was like, oh, tr what? trying to pro promote music and like it was not doing it. I was like, okay, what is wrong with me? Everyone else is going viral. I'm not. But I, I was like, I'm just going to keep doing it. And eventually you just it's trial and error and you kind of find a song and a, you know video style that works so i think you just gotta keep going just gotta find your niche find yeah. your lane and but like find don't your be voice. too stuck in one thing i feel like if we when we, the first song that ever did anything was called haunted and i didn't want to do it at first because it, it was like out of my comfort zone but if thomas hadn't pushed me to do it like i wouldn't be here so you always got to be you know, willing to just try different things because you really just don't know. What was Thomas doing that made him go viral? Was he doing TikTok dances? What was he doing? <laughs> 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 I'm, n I'm that I. You probably can. Uh, you can I gotta search them. this. No, Thomas. what you took it off, <laughs> Thomas? You dirty dog. Thomas was making thirst traps. Uh, thirst traps. <laughs> Whoa, man. No, it worked, but, though. It but worked. it worked because Thomas is just more genetically gifted than everyone else. So I'm like, it, uh, everyone loves him. He's got to be like Thomas. I know. Everyone's got to be like Thomas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. It was so funny. I was like, Thomas is like, yeah, I'm going to give this sh sh a shot. And then it just and worked. And I was like, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, Thomas. But Wow. Yeah. 
but you found your lane and obviously yeah. now here we are mm -hmm. uh congrats on favorite it's so good Thank you. Mm -hmm. so good i just love the mixture of the reggaeton and and the darkness that you bring to it like the little twist Thank uh you. what's been like uh just the response right people you know using the video on tiktok and mm -hmm. seeing your fans now in person now that you're you know performing live in concert what's mm -hmm. just this turnaround been for you i mean to be honest i we, I mean, we always, everything that we tease or put out on the internet, we always really, really believe in, but we, it was kind of, favorite was kind of like a shot in the dark, like it originally had a different melody, and then we sat on it for a really long time, and kind of forgot, and then we were like, oh, this is really cool hook, and you know, I think Thomas rewrote the melody, and then, um, and then I was like, <laughs> We were like, we're okay, we're gonna before we pick one song to release, we're gonna just try this one other thing and like see if it works. You know, hopefully it does. And then it now is favorite. So it's just again, you really have like I I every time I feel like I know TikTok and I'm like, Oh, I got it, like I don't. So um I can never predict I've it. I've heard mm -hmm. this before, not just about TikTok, just mm -hmm. about things in general. It's like the less you think about it, the more popular it becomes and the and the thing you do like focus on, no one cares about. No, seriously. No, I mean I'm like it's 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 like you know, I I have to like become not be not that I don't love all the songs that we write, but you have to go into it with the knowledge that not everything, even if you love the song, it doesn't mean that it's going to be big, and it doesn't mean that it's not a good song. It just like it may not work on the amp for whatever reason. But it's it's so demoralizing when you like love a song so much and it does nothing, and I'm like. <laughs> why can't you like this one? Well, that's why it's annoying when art is like measured by metrics, right? It's mm -hmm. like, because it still means something to you and it still mm -hmm. means something to your fans. So just because certain numbers are higher or lower than others, mm -hmm. is like, you know what I mean? Like Totally. But it doesn't That's, that's the way the world away. works though. So it's mm -hmm. sad. No, totally. <laughs> but I feel like it does. I mean, it, it just, I know that numbers on TikTok doesn't, that doesn't dictate whether I love the song, sure. you know, and it doesn't dictate, you know, how good the song is. It just means that maybe it's not, it just didn't work for the moment. But right, it right, it's right. also doesn't mean that that song isn't going to come out either. It's and it might be a hit four years from now. That's the yeah. way TikTok's been working these days. It's no, like <laughs> seriously, seriously. It's like, it's it's so odd how, like, the most songs will pop out of nowhere and they'll be they'll be out for, like, yeah, like four, six <laughs> years, <laughs> however long, and then they're just big one day. And you're like, okay, yeah, weird. Sure, that makes sense. I'm like, like great. Yeah, I'll go with it. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> if anyone wants to do that, feel free. Um, <laughs> have, have, have fun finding my own music. <laughs> I'm like, so we know a tour is on the horizon. What mm -hmm. about like a EP, LP? Is that in the works this year or? I cannot. I cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> Will Thomas answer it? And Thomas no. is uh, Thomas is <laughs> lip sealed. <laughs> but I, 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 you know, there are a lot of very, very fun things coming up that I can't talk about. But I will be able to talk about soon. Which is well, cool. you're coming back to Philly in September. Can you talk mm -hmm. then? Cause this is always home for you, by the way. This is yeah, yeah. We'll talk about your, it. We your, can talk your about key it card then. will mm -hmm. work when you come back in September. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we can we can we can talk about it in September. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we'll see you then. Congrats on everything, thank you and so thank much. you for being here in the United Six Five. We really you. appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.